Hey, it's Eric. Uh, I'm going to do a quick stream here. I'm uh, going to do a little demo. It sort of concludes a, a chapter of development. And, oh, I should update my progress every day counter because I am at 110 days making some progress every day. And, okay, so I have successfully set up my hand recorder after many days of working on it so that it will record hand motions from the the leap motion device and also play audio of dialogue so I can synchronize hand animations with it. However there's some some problems with it. Uh, here let me update this this uh, other little bit of text here at the top. And before I give you my demo it is August 9th Am I tired of hands yet? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am tired of hands. Okay. And I'll show you why. <laughs> well, all right. So I wrote this thing, just like I said I would. It just doesn't work worth the shit. Uh, here we go. Here's a demo. The Delta is presented with not one, but two impossible puzzles. And so, is doubly confounded. Okay. So, a, a few things that are working against me here. Um, one is, in order for me to get the timing exactly right for the hand movements, I have to memorize that line. So, I've played it through a few times. And in this case, I knew that the line was going to say the the delva must use one or not two and the, so i put the number one up with my hand i put the number two up with my hand but every single line requires like a, a memorization and even then like after having heard the line like six or seven times i'm still a little bit behind the uh syllables like if i'm speaking and moving my hands in a normal way, there's no delay. I'm not like listening for the sound of my own voice and then just a moment later moving my hand in conjunction with it. So, like, you really gotta feel these lines. You really have to feel these lines, have them memorized in order to say, I've got my, my, my actual hand like pretty well synchronized with how I'm actually talking, in order to, to have motions that are, are, are well synchronized. Um, so, the other problem I've got is that there's like little jitters where, let me see if I can do it, Here, okay, so I have to have my two hands really close together and not get too far apart, like the range of motion is really small, and if I do th things that are just, uh, like every once in a while it, it'll give me a misread. Um, and it'll botch the, the recording. So it's really hard to get like a, a clean recording from this that's suitable for, for playback. So that means lots and lots and lots of retakes. And even, even with me performing pretty well, occasionally there's like these little jitter, jitters. So if I'm holding my hands perfectly still right now. And you can see the right hand, the right arm is kind of jerking around a little bit. I could just chalk that up as a, a quirk of the, the character. Um, I mean, he is sort of a surreal being, but I don't know, it just doesn't look that good when it's got all these extra little jitters and stuff. I could smooth those, I could write a smoothing algorithm. Um, that sounds like a fair amount of work. Uh, let me see what I don't know I, I I feel like this might be not the best way to do it so I'm thinking about as much as I love this this lead motion thing I'm thinking about some other methods of doing it that might yield better results 
So see see how, how the hand's getting kind of all twisted up? My real hand is not all twisted up like that. My real hand isn't suddenly disappearing. Uh, it's just the, the representation that is. So, like if I want to clench my fists, I'm going to clench my fists right now. I just clench them dramatically. But the leap motion detector is not um, showing clenched hands. It's not even showing my arms in the right position. It's, I guess, kind of sort of figuring out. Don't get me wrong, it's a brilliant device. I'm really impressed with it. It's, it's very cheap, too. Um, I think it would be entirely suitable as a game input device. But I don't think it's, it's suitable for recording performances. And I'm kind of... Uh, I'm chastising myself a little bit here because I could have done this test several days back but I was kind of looking for the the next task that would be easy to to, to complete in like one little um, kind of bite-sized chunk and for a long while when I was doing these streams uh, I had some problems with the USB recognition working along with the stream and that made me think well I'll just I'll just get to this part where I'm actually using like the live data I, I, I know it works but I'll just get to that after after uh, I stopped streaming I had the business trip a number of things that sort of prevented me from seeing the bad news and now I've got the bad news there's probably no way that I'm going to be able to use the leap data in order to make good animations um, all is not lost though. Uh, I have some other ideas. They might be even stronger ideas as far as like the actual results that we'll get out of this. So that's that's my analysis of, of the leap motion for recording hand performances. I don't think it's the right tool for it. I don't think it's the right tool for it to record these hand, and you see like my hands are just, they don't look quite right, and I just don't, okay. Um, so that, that concludes this experiment with the leap motion. Lovely device, not useful for my own ends. All right, little mini stream here, not gonna do a full long session. Stopping it, stopping the stream, stopping the stream. Stop, stop.